Barron says Waltz did serve a long and honorable career, but it is his story surrounding his service post 9-11 that raises red flags. They, the discrepancies start with how long he re-enlisted for. Um, they say, okay, in 2006, as Waltz was amid his first campaign for Congress, questions were raised about the timing of his retirement. You see, um, Waltz's sudden retirement after learning that his unit would be deployed to Iraq is what is under scrutiny. He allegedly re-enlisted for another six years, which would have taken him well past uh, the time of being his, his, he, they were trying to deploy him. He would have had to stay. He would have had to go and be deployed. And suddenly he got out of it a couple of years early. And what they say is that he quickly retired after learning that his unit, South, Southern Minnesota's 1-125FA battalion, would be sent to Iraq. For Tim Waltz to abandon his fellow soldiers and quit when they needed experienced leadership most is disheartening and it dishonors those brave American men and women who did answer the nation's call and continue to serve, fight, and unfortunately die in harm's way. Um, the, the governor, or the then congressman, came out and defended this report at the time, saying, after completing my 20 years in 2001, I re-enlisted to serve for an additional four, right, which would have taken him to 2005, and I retired the year before my battalion was de- deployed in order to run for Congress. Then Alpha News goes on. However, official documents from the National Guard contradict that story. According to his report of separation of military service, Waltz re-enlisted for six years, six years, not four, as he claimed. And his service obligation was not complete until September 2007, which was after his unit was deployed and went. The allegation is that he got out of military service. He did not want to go to Iraq. And then he lied about the circumstances around it. Here is Tom Behrens, who I mentioned just a moment ago, um, speaking about this. So you try to get this message out, but Minnesota's largest newspaper checks it out, says it's 100% true, but yet refuses to print. When I hung the phone up, I said, what the hell is this, North Korea? Back in 2005, a warning order went out to the 1st Battalion 125th Field Artillery to mobilize for a mission to Iraq. At the time, Walls served as the unit's highest non-commissioned officer, but months later, Walls would retire from the Guard, avoid the deployment, and run for Congress. Tom Behrens was next in line for the position and was asked to take his place. I was like, well, for Pete's sake, if this guy quit, and if I say I'm not going to do it, I mean, what the hell kind of leadership is that? If a company would say that we're going to deploy to Iraq or somewhere and you're going to be gone for whatever amount of time. And then the foreman just says, no, I'm not going. I mean, what does that say to the 500 people that work in that factory? Barons would go on to serve in Iraq on a nearly two-year deployment as a command sergeant major. Allwell Walls began using that title as a congressman. Barron says he first contacted Walls with his concerns, sending these letters to Washington. They all went unanswered. But then we fast forward to the election in 2018 in Minnesota, and you try at that time to get people's attention with this story and also with what seems to be a very misleading statement that he continued to make about his service. It kind of just sat there. You know, when he was a congressman, he, you know, he bragged that he was, he was a command sergeant, retired command sergeant major. I'm the highest ranking person ever in the, in the House and, you know, all this lie that he was telling. The state of Minnesota came out after 2018, after this was exposed, and they said, well, he can say that he served as a command sergeant major, but he can't say he's a retired one because he's not. And that's what he was saying. And he was saying that, and there was lots of public, you know, lots of cards coming in the mail, you know, for him to be elected. They said right on there, he's a retired command sergeant major, just tooting his own horn, just hanging on the coattails of people that actually are command sergeant majors that went through all the process and put all the time in. A spokesperson for the Minnesota National Guard said Walls wasn't able to retire as a command sergeant major since he failed to complete coursework and requirements related to the rank. Verified documents show the Army corrected his service record. Walls was reduced in rank to an E-8 master sergeant after retirement and his conditional promotion. Alpha News again asked Governor Walls if he's using the command sergeant major rank on his campaign website for political gain this year. A spokesperson said this has been in the news before and pointed us to a past story where Walls said, quote, normally this type of partisan political attack only comes from one who's never worn a uniform. It's stolen valor is really what it is. I don't know of anybody else that's done 
what he's done. So Tim.